I'm going to show you how to use uh, some of the brush effects with your brushes. So inside Photoshop I have just this basic layer <clears throat> that's black and then I've created a new layer over here uh, so I can just put my brushes on a separate uh, thing. So if I go ahead and choose a brush in here um, and sometimes when you choose a brush you may not want that brush to be in that angle so I, maybe I want to rotate it. So your best bet when you do that is if you um, click on your brush effects over here. Um, so you can click on this little icon uh, up here. Or you can also um, click on... Or you can also come up here and click uh, into window and choose... Uh, brushes that way. So this will give you all kinds of things you can do. So right here it shows me my brushes again. <clears throat> I could load from this spot uh, as well if I want to load some of my brushes. But in here if you go uh, choose your brush and then go to a brush tip shape. In here you can come in uh, to this guy right here and rotate <clears throat> the direction of it. You can also scale it down and size it if you want to do that uh, there too and then you can apply that brush to where you want it to go. <coughs> a couple other things you can do inside here that are kind of cool. You can do these uh, shape dynamics, <coughs> shape dynamics and play some of the settings. It'll kind of, I like to kind of click and drag, uh, change some of the minimum diameters and stuff. Uh, texture, if you want to put a texture on your shape, and this one's not showing up too well, but you can put uh, some of these textures uh, throughout there. Um, <clears throat> dual brushes, if you want to combine more than one brush at a time, can make for some interesting um, designs for you. Color dynamics, and then uh, bring up your hue or your saturation, and then typically over here you usually choose a couple colors um, <clears throat> that you want to have it kind of go in between, and that'll kind of give you some different options uh, that way. So that could be a lot of fun as well. And then there's a whole bunch of other just basic ones you can just kind of choose and just play with. So just kind of play with those things and uh, there's a lot of cool effects you can do in, inside of your brushes.